Have you ever clicked on a YouTube video with high hopes, only to find yourself bored within the first few seconds? We've all been there. In the vast and competitive world of YouTube, your intro is your first and perhaps only chance to make a good impression. Think of it as the digital handshake that welcomes viewers to your content. Your channel name might attract viewers initially, but it's the intro that determines whether they stay or hit that dreaded back button. Why are intros so crucial? Because they set the tone, establish expectations, and ultimately determine whether a viewer will invest their precious time in the rest of your video. A strong intro acts like a mini trailer, peaking curiosity and promising an engaging viewing experience. It's the hook that reels them in and keeps them hooked. What does this mean for you? Don't underestimate the power of a well-crafted intro. It's an investment worth making. Think about your favorite YouTubers. What is it about their intros that grabs your attention? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We've established that intros are important, but what exactly makes a viewer click away before giving your content a chance? Often, it's a combination of factors. Long, rambling intros that take forever to get to the point can be instant turnoffs. Similarly, intros that are irrelevant to the video's content or overly promotional can leave viewers feeling misled and uninterested. Another common culprit is poor audio or video quality. In the age of high-definition content, viewers have come to expect a certain level of polish. If your intro is poorly lit, has distracting background noise, or features shaky footage, it can create a negative first impression that's hard to shake. Remember, you only have a few precious seconds to capture a viewer's attention. Make them count. Have you ever clicked off a video because of a bad intro? What specifically turned you off? Share your experiences in the comments. Now that we've explored what not to do, let's dive into the exciting part. Creating intros that grab viewers by the eyeballs and keep them glued to their screens. The key is to start strong. Jump right into the action or introduce the most intriguing aspect of your video within the first few seconds. This could be a captivating question, a bold statement, or even a sneak peek at the most exciting part of your content. Think of your intro as a promise to the viewer. What can they expect to gain from watching your video? Will they learn something new, be entertained, or be moved by a compelling story? Clearly articulate the value proposition of your video up front to pique their interest and keep them engaged. Remember, a strong hook is the foundation of a captivating intro. Think about your next YouTube video. What's the most compelling hook you can use to grab your viewers' attention right from the start? We've talked about the importance of starting strong, but how long should your intro actually be? While there's no magic number, a good rule of thumb is to keep it concise and to the point. Ideally, your intro should be no longer than 5 to 10 seconds. Any longer, and you risk losing the viewer's attention. Remember, attention spans are short, especially online. In those crucial first few seconds, you need to convey the essence of your video and hook the viewer without wasting their time. Focus on delivering maximum impact in the shortest amount of time. Think quality over quantity. A short, snappy intro that gets straight to the point is far more effective than a long, rambling one that leaves viewers bored or confused. Take a look at the intros of your recent YouTube videos. Are they too long, too short, or just right? Time them and see if they fall within the recommended range. Section 5 What are some creative ways to start your videos? 
intros don't have to be formulaic. In fact, some of the most engaging intros are those that break the mold and surprise the viewer. One effective technique is to start with a compelling question that piques the viewer's curiosity and makes them want to learn more. This could be related to the topic of your video or a broader question that will get them thinking. Another approach is to use humour to grab attention. A well-placed joke or funny anecdote can make your video more memorable and relatable. Just make sure the humour is appropriate for your target audience and aligned with your brand. Don't be afraid to experiment with different intro styles to find what works best for you and your content. Your call to action. What are some creative intro ideas you can come up with? Jot down a few ideas and see if you can incorporate them into your next video. Section 6. Can you use humour to make your intros more engaging? As mentioned earlier, humour can be a powerful tool for making your intros more engaging. A well-timed joke or funny anecdote can instantly make your video more relatable and memorable. It can also help to break the ice and set a more relaxed, conversational tone for the rest of your content. However, it's important to use humour judiciously. Not all jokes are created equal, and what one person finds funny, another might find offensive or inappropriate. When incorporating humour into your intros, always consider your target audience and their sense of humour. If you're not naturally funny, don't force it. A forced joke is worse than no joke at all. Stick to what feels authentic to you and your brand. Your call to action. Do you use humour in your YouTube intros? What are some of your favourite ways to make your viewers laugh? Share your tips and tricks in the comments. Section 7. How do you introduce a new topic or theme in your intro? When introducing a new topic or theme in your intro, it's important to provide context and clearly explain what your video is about. Start by briefly outlining the topic and why it's relevant to your viewers. What will they learn by watching your video? Why should they care? If you're introducing a new series or recurring segment, take a moment to explain the format and what viewers can expect. This will help to manage expectations and ensure that viewers are invested in the content from the start. Remember, clarity is key. Don't assume your viewers already know what you're talking about. Your call to action. Think about a time when you successfully introduced a new topic or theme in your YouTube intro. What strategies did you use to engage your viewers? Section 8. What are some common mistakes to avoid in your intros? Even with the best of intentions, it's easy to make mistakes that can sabotage the effectiveness of your intros. One common mistake is making your intro all about you. While it's important to introduce yourself and your channel, viewers are ultimately there for the content, not your life story. Another mistake is being overly promotional. While it's fine to mention your products or services, don't make your intro a sales pitch. Focus on providing value to the viewer and building a relationship with them. Finally, avoid using generic, forgettable intros. In a sea of content, you need to stand out. Take the time to create an intro that's unique to your brand and reflects the personality of your channel. Your call to action. Have you made any of these intro mistakes in the past? What did you learn from them? Share your experiences in the comments. Section 9. Ready to create intros that captivate? Creating captivating intros for your YouTube videos is an art, but with the right approach, 
anyone can do it. Remember to keep it concise, hook your viewers from the start, and most importantly, be yourself. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things until you find what works best for you and your audience. Now that you're armed with the knowledge and tools to create intros that truly captivate, it's time to put them into practice. Go forth and create. Your call to action. What's one action step you can take today to improve your YouTube intros? Share your commitment in the comments